Yeah, what's up, you guys? This is Dele. We are going back into it. We got the deck fitness happening, you guys. So I'm back up on the deck. I did a little bit of workout yesterday on my other channel. Didn't do too much. It's my first day back, and I'm already lightly sore. I kept these reps. I did a little bit of everything yesterday. Not, no, no, I didn't do a little bit of everything, but I did like. Hmm. Huh. Press. Father. Cinco. Press. Get it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Don't forget. You know, stay hydrated. Get your, get your minerals. Make sure you get your magnesium in. Don't go overboard. Here we go. Remember, we're not going to be going heavy. We ain't going heavy in any of these days. This is light. We're not going heavy in any of these times. You know, not doing it. Here we go. Boom. Ho. Ha. Hey. Ho. Ha. 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 Five more. Four. Three more. All right, this next exercise that we're gonna be incorporating into this workout is gonna be a close chest um, press. And this is gonna work that midline, your upper chest on here. It's gonna tie in a little bit of your front deltoids also. So hopefully they're not too sore. Um, but you really wanna be having the dumbbells close. You'll be squeezing this upper chest region here and we'll be pressing these upward. So you're really gonna feel this squeeze and really going into that midline right there. So the guys that wanna have that, that, uh, that midline um, mass coming in that muscle really coming in and not having that big gap there and for the ladies that want to have a little bit more of a definition also down into the cleavage line that would be a great thing um, a great exercise for y'all to employ now the next thing also with this is we'll be going right into those supinated curls so we're gonna grab our dumbbells bring them tight bringing them close already is going to squeeze these muscles look at that it's already getting that contraction so you already have that into the mind muscle connection receptor so from here coming through going right down to the chest let's go five more four three Two, squeezing even on the way down one right there and then we're gonna go right into those biceps supinations one two three four nice turning five this really gets your peaks going six seven eight nine and ten. right we add a little bit of weight on here we up 10 pounds here we go four. Ho, hey, ho, ha, hey, hey, ha, hey, Yeah, you guys, we're straight out of the gym. You know how we do it. It's your boy CBD Style coming through. Listen, guys, it's all about what you can do in the now. You know, you know what they say. You spend like you know, 20 minutes, 10 minutes a day, specializing in something, supreme focus. Then you do that every day, you know, just a matter of time, you're gonna be really good at that one thing. But you just gotta focus for about 20 minutes a day. Do your workouts, even if it's gonna be two exercises, focus on those two exercises and then move on to something else, you know? You can learn so many different things while you're incarnated on this particular planet. Hey, hey, hey. All right, we got these demos again. I can already feel that these are a little light. So you know what, for this one, let's push these to about 20 repetitions. I know guys, that's not really like hardcore strength, but if we get to 20, we know that we can, uh, you know, let's go 15 again. We get 15, we're gonna definitely go up. You know, let's, let's go. If we can go 20, let's push it. Let's, let's push it. Let's push it. We already got those muscles engaged, you guys. Let's go. Two, three. Right down to that mid chest level. Look at that. You can feel those muscles right there engaged. Squeezing down. Four. Five. Whoa. It's going to burn. Eight. Squeeze. Five. Eight. Yeah. See what I'm talking about? Let's go right into those bicep curls right there, you guys. So get ready for it. We'll be going up into those 
15 pounds on these too. Yeah, this is really light, but guess what? Hey, guess what? Don't judge nobody. Hey, what are you doing? Are you just sitting down looking? Or are you actually like, hey, you be doing it too. It's all good, because I've done it all. Hey, you know what? Been way bigger, I've been way smaller. So it's all about just getting up every day and doing what you need to do. All right, let's go one more set here, you guys. I know what's up. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's get fifteen. like what you see here try to subscribe to my channel laters cut it out hot hey what's up you guys it's your boy cbd style coming in i'm just want to introduce you back into my deck fitness workouts we're getting our fitness on for the summer times you guys plus we're doing a lot of stuff including gardening spiritual work we doing it up you know what i'm talking about so if you like what you see hit that like hit that subscribe and join me whenever i you know I get up and get things going because if I'm awake, I'm making things pop. Hopefully you are too. All right, the next uh, segment we'll be going on to you guys are triceps and our lateral raises with a little bit of a superset into our front raise. So what we want to do is for the triceps, um, you know, there was a, a, it's a big debate or narrative uh, about keeping your elbows in front when you're doing your tricep extensions, dumbbell extensions for triceps behind the head. Um, but as I have done more in tricep extensions and workouts, um, you know, you just got to feel what's comfortable for you. Uh, if you're going to be taking your arm from a bent state to an extension, you're going to work your triceps. That's the only muscle that's extending your arm into the extended state. So if your arm, your elbows in front or your elbows are flared out a little bit, whatever. If you got a big chest and whatnot, you may not even bring your arms in front. You know, you might only can kind of keep them out. So you do what's comfortable for you. Don't listen to anybody else. If you can't hold your elbows in front, it doesn't feel that great. Okay. But having elbows in front versus having elbows flared out will target your triceps differently. Why? Because it's a different angle. So it, it's, your triceps are going to get worked. So if you can't do it like that, find a different machine or different exercise that you can be able to keep your elbows in front, like a tricep press down. You know, if you're doing dumbbell extensions behind the head, your elbows flaring out, hey, listen, I'm sure you're going to have better looking triceps than somebody that's just sitting around all day. You know what I'm talking about? So, don't listen to the Neanderthals. Boom. And you know what I like to do? I, li I like to grab the top of the dumbbell right there. And we're just doing something light here, so I'm pushing these right up. Do I feel that burn? Get that stretch. Now that little pause at the bottom there really open up. Look at four more. Three more. There we go. Two more. One. Oh man, that is what I'm talking about, you guys. Just kind of find those. Find out where you want to have these. Three, four. Five. And from there, I was going to go to a front deltoid press out, but let's hold on to that. And we're working on full extension, reverse grip pull ups. Yeah, full extension. Only working five, I'm going to work our way up to like six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Not today. Today it's going to be sets of six. 
I did five yesterday. I know. I used to do. I used to be do twenty pull-ups regular, but you know it's you know it's rough. But you got to get back into it, you guys. Got to get into it. You got to do it. These are reverse grips. I'm going that way. So pulling third, lats, and also for your serratus muscles. That's where we're at. So a nice uh, lateral front raise I like to do is grab one dumbbell, cup your hands on and in, in, in underneath the first plate like that. You wrap your thumbs. We're gonna be kind of pushing this out in front. You can raise it or you can kind of raise and press. You'll see the difference in how I do these. So you just press them right up. Or you can get a little push out, push. Push, see that? Push, push. Now it's gonna hit the chest up a little bit also versus just the raise. Of course, chest ties in a little bit more on both of these. Ooh, I hit a cartilage all up in there too, so you want to be careful on those also. 